somebody is not safe and it's your family cook, how many children have become possessed food? I wish I was communicating. Food! I can, I, see, I can go on and on and on and tell you. I laid hands on a child and the child vomited crab. You know crab? Crab. This um, crab. The crab was moving when the child vomited it. Crab. Life crab. How did it enter into the system? I was telling them in Canada some months back, as you see. Satan has gone technological and digital. The devil uses laptop. Satan is not, he's not that local man you think of. These days, herbalists do not need to put chalk and put mask. They wear suit. Are you ready? There's going to be a reaction now. They took from your house and they have used it against you or they have projected it against you today it's catch fire <laughs> listen a young oh. man sit down a young man was telling me he said he said all he does let me shock you that he goes from one barber's shop barbing saloon to another all he collects from the barber are the, the hair of people and he will pay I says what do you do with the hair he said every one of them I have collected I have used their glory and just imagine now if you're born again nobody can do that to you so just imagine those who don't know God who carry their when they're with innocence to cut hair is he 100 naira or 200 naira 200 just to cut hair and the glory they took from the person is millions contact Contact. Contact. Am I communicating? I tell people when they walk into guest houses, those of you who travel a lot, when you walk into hotels and guest houses, carry your personal effect. Don't go there. You see, uh, you see um, brush there. You use. You see, no. Carry your own. I carry my things. I don't use your soap. Not because I'm scared. I don't. I don't use your, 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 your soap. I don't use your brush. No, I carry my own. I'm telling you, sometimes it is better to be careful. Not to be careful. What is your bone face? Nothing will happen to me. Nothing will happen to me. Nothing will happen to me. That's what your father said, though. He ended up, he ended up with stroke in that neck better. Nani, I'm not me. Nobody can do me anything. I'm not me. Nobody can do me. I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. Even blood of Jesus, they have to apply it on the pole. Even the blood is careful. The blood that you are depending on is a careful blood. <laughs> have you seen stubborn people? Nothing can happen. I mean, I've discovered people that have no spiritual backing are the ones that have loud mouth. No money can do me anything. No money can do me anything. No money can do me anything. Who is boasting? Somebody that has five boyfriends. No money can do me anything. No money can do me. One time, God spoke to the Elijah. I said, Go and hide. Uh, go and what? Hide. You don't attend school of the spirit, you don't attend life in the spirit, and you are going to do family deliverance. You went there complete, you came back incomplete. <laughs> what shall they tell you? You should not be your pastors go tell them. Don't tell them faith, faith, and they talk reality. Hey. When Moses was three months, they went to hide him. There are times to hide till you mature. When you mature, the Bible says John the Baptist remained in the wilderness till the day of his showing forth. John hide himself. You just got born again that one week. 
you are challenging the, fam the, the married spirit in your family. One week old. A spirit that's over 6,000 years old. You, you are one week. <laughs> I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself with the blood. I cover my hand. I cover my hand. I cover my hand. The demon is looking at the lake, lake that's pointing hand. <laughs> Nothing can happen to me. Nothing can happen to me. Nothing can happen to me. Nothing. <laughs> Vote run. <laughs> Faith is not bone face. Faith is principle. You get those principles, you work with knowledge. Details. Why do you think accountants and auditors take their time? Details. Mathematics, I used to think that mathematical solution is just for you to understand the formula. No, sir. Even if you know the formula, you must follow the details. Accountants will tell you, if you fail to post an item, your account will never balance. Even if you post a wrong item or a wrong figure, your, your account will not balance. You follow details. Growth is a function of details and timing. 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 In those days when they are fighting in Israel, they will put the men in front. A function of timing. They matured. Those who have grown. The Bible said they have developed their muscles by the exercising the use of the word of God. He said, if any be sick among you, say, let him call on the elders. Not the anointed though. Not the anointed though. The elders. The elders. Let him call the elders. Even if they are not anointed, their experience is enough to heal you. It is a call on the anointed. Call on the elders of the church. Let them pray over him. Anoint him. So every elder, he can easily be anointed. But not every anointed can easily be an elder. Can I talk to you? He said, let the elders anoint him. So the elders can be anointed, but the anointed may not be elders. Timing. Point of contact. Then you give people gifts and they use the gift against you. I prophesy upon your life as you hear me and hear the sound of my voice. Whatever has been taken from you to be used against you, may it backfire. 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 Somebody shall fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've told you, I said, listen, it's timing. It's timing. There are pastors that organize healing services after they finish the first sick. Look, why do, why do you think I don't do Jehovah the doctor every Sunday? I wait for instructions. The anointing is already there. I could have been doing it every Sunday. Your growth is little by little. In, in Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 22. Deuteronomy. See how God drives people from the land. Little by little. He said, and the Lord, thy God, will put out those nations before thee. Little by little by little that thou mayest not consume them at once lest the beast of the feet increase little by little what's the beast of the feet pride once you get your freedom at once you become arrogant you're, you're becoming like christ is little by little there may still be some characters you may not like but gradually it will be phasing out with time you're becoming a better person you used to get angry so crazily before but now it's coming down you used to have some terrible thoughts, but now it's coming down. It may not be at once. That doesn't mean you are not saved. Did you see that in the Bible? Little by little. Little by little. Some, some people used to lie. Like they lie. They lie. It flows in their blood. In fact, they miss not lying. When they don't lie, they miss it. Say, hey, I've not lied this morning, no. <laughs> See, what 
is wrong with me? Why have I not lied? Oh, I need to lie, I need to lie, I need to lie. They miss it. But now you get born again, you discover something three, four, five, six days. After that, you say something, you say, oh, oh God, why did I say this? It means you are getting better little. So don't just condemn yourself because the devil will judge you. Say, I see, you have lied. Just continue lying now. You have already lied. Just continue. Finish the, the rest lies. No. You say, Satan, I know I'm getting better. Little by little. I told you how they touch. Point of contact. Why do they touch? Number one. The reason they touch you negatively is for there to be satanic exchange. Somebody say satanic exchange. This woman had an issue of blood. What was an issue? An issue is a pending matter, a discussion. A situation that has grown to become a discussion. Hello? Hello? She had a situation that became what? That's what issue means. A pending case that becomes a discussion. It becomes a subject matter, a reference point. So people discuss about her because of her problem. When she touched Jesus, what happened between Jesus and the disciples? They began to discuss. She transferred her issue. It became the issue of Jesus. <laughs> Nobody get that one yet. Yeah. Jesus started discussing. What is happening? What is happening? There was a transfer. There are many of you now. People have taken you from you and they've transferred. Some of you... They, they have, they, they have transferred their pro You packed into a house. As you enter that house, trouble started. Because there was a satanic exchange. Anything that they have exchanged with for your glory. Anything they have exchanged in your body. In your children's life. How can a 19 year old child still be bedwetting? They have exchanged something. How can a, a, a 12, 13, 14 year Some people, 29. A lady met me in Russia. She is 34. She refused proposals. Pretty young girl. Refused to uh, uh, no, get married. People will come. She will avoid them. And she said, man of God, you are the first person I'm going to tell. I don't know why. I just feel like telling you. He said, I have a problem. I have intercon intercongenital disorder. I said, what's it be that one? He said, I bed wet every night. Pretty. That was not normal. Somebody exchange. I Kabashanda. I prophesy. Wherever they exchange it, oh, today may heaven restore what they took from you. Oh, I say, may power restore what they took from you. May the Holy Ghost restore what they took from you. May God restore what they took from you. With the one shot, fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody pushed. Sit down. A young girl, a young girl in Lagos, somebody prom proposed marriage to her. She was excited. That evening, she went to take a bath. While she was showering, she noticed something was dangling in between her legs. When she looked at it, it was a male organ that grew out of her. She started crying. What is this? What is this? What is this? Ran to the mom. The mom said, God forbid, what is this? They flew out to London. She stopped picking the young man's call because she was confused. They flew out to London. When they were about to examine her, the doctor said, lie down. As she lay down, the male organ disappeared. When she, the doctor, after examining the doctor said, I can't see anything. He said, there's something there. Arguing with the doctor. The doctor now sat her down. See, let's see my office. When they sat down, the doctor took off his glasses. He said, in your family, how many people have got psychiatric cases? He said, doctor, I'm not mad. It was there. As soon as she left the doctor's office, the doctor confirmed that there was nothing wrong. As she left, was coming down the stairway, it grew out again. Now, the, the, the part that is comical, one time armed robbers came to rob in their house. After beating people, they wanted to attempt rape on the girl. When they saw what was in between, the armed robber stood up and took off. 
<laughs> exchange. Exchange. You are seeing yourself that you are pretty. That's what the mirror tells you. But that's not what men are seeing. When men see you, they get frightened. It's like a masquerade. But you look at yourself, you are smiling. You look beautiful. And you're getting a bad on. I'm giving so many testimonies now because I want us to pray this morning. She said, Apostle, look at me from head to toes. Am I not fine? I said, you are fine. He said, but look, I'm not married. The Lord opened my eyes all over her face. I saw cobwebs. You know cobwebs, this one. Is it not cobwebs? You remove from cobwebs. I said, this is it. Men don't see you. Men see cobwebs. There are many ladies who are not married they, and they think that they are women but the devil has given them the face of a man so when men see them men do not see men M women rather the more men see men they don't see women's face they see men's face and a man cannot marry a man in a civil society there are many people today when people see them they think they are rich but deep down they are poor people don't feel like helping them because their identity has been changed i want to pray for you today whatever was exchanged in your body whatever was exchanged in your life whatever was exchanged in your business today you are getting back your identity <laughs> Have you seen what happened there? The woman was carrying sickness in her body. She was going about looking for who to give it to. There are people looking for who to carry their load on. You're not getting me. Alabashanda A young man came to Igara. A young man came from the village to Igara. He came for the mother's burial. So one of the uncle met him and said, Why well, not they come village? He said, No, we know how many they kill us. The uncle laughed. He now said, Bring water. He brought water. The uncle stirred the water, stirred the water, said something, stirred the water. The brother was surprised that his house in Lagos appeared. He said, not be your house be this. Not be your children be that. If I want to kill you, now just, I go just push. <laughs> the brother said, say, yeah. <laughs> Spiritual technology. I'm trying to show you that if you are not on fire, you'll be fired. Am I communicating here? When you see me sometimes in the plane, I'm praying. It's because I know powers in the air. If I'm entering the nation, if I can arrest the, the air before we land, I'm in charge. Right from the air. Makoto Prakata, this country you will submit to me. The powers that control a nation are in the air, and I'm in the air. I clash with you. I clash with you. I clash with you. I clash with you. I subdue you. So when I get on the land, I give instructions. Number two, why do they touch? Am I blessing somebody? Why do they touch? Look up before you write it down. Look up. The first reason they touch is to spiritual exchange the second reason jesus was on his way to jarius's house is that true as the woman touched jesus what happened to him he stopped to slow your speed they touch you to slow your speed ah, some people who are struggling for years they would have achieved in weeks but for 10 years 20 years they are on the same spot because somebody touched them some people if you read Deuteronomy chapter 1 if you read verse 2 you will discover God was telling us that the, the journey from there to Kadesh Barnea from the wilderness to the promised land was 11 days he said there are 11 days Deuteronomy 1 2 there are 11 days journey from Horeb by the way of Mount Seir unto Kadesh Barnea 11 days but it took them 40 years why delay ah, don't worry delay is not denier don't worry delay is not denier slow and steady 
wins the race. Most times, slow and steady, they carry last. Patient dog. Now you know the chop bone. Now you know the chop bone. Am I communicating here? Delay. Slow their speed. Any relationship that has clocked seven years maximum and there's no decision to move forward or move backward, go your way. You know what? You know, you know the problem some of you have? The problem some of you have is hey, hey, how will I survive? How are you surviving before then? How? Ten years you are seeing the relationship. That's a governor's two tenure and two years more. <laughs> a governor, that's two tenures in the political life of a governor. And, <laughs> and two years extra, ten years. For what? If you still love the Lord, shout hallelujah. I'm your pastor. I owe you a duty to tell you the truth. If a relationship is getting to three years maximum and the person cannot define it, please ask question. Look for somebody who is ready and available. Move on with your life. Three years. Are we getting married? I'm still thinking. Are we getting married? I'm still thinking. I will get him married. I'm saying, go and think in the psychiatric hospital. Let me go. Go to the psychiatric hospital and think. Some of you ladies are very funny. You're already living in his house. You're already cooking for him, washing his clothes. You are not a fiance, you are a cook. You are, you are, you are a caterer, a laundryman, laundrywoman rather. You are cooking for him. What did, he, what did he promise you? Marriage. He only promised you something verbal. I told you before, I said as a lady, do not give a man something tangible when all he has given you is something abstract. All he gave you is a promise. What you are giving him is something tangible. Food. Cooler. Walk out of that nonsense. school 10 years no child delay academically delay in business delay in ministry delay in any area of life in the name of the resurrected Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God I pray for you today the power of delay is broken is broken Number three reason why they touch. I am a Sanda. Are you ready? Come, son. Philemon, come. Ebony, come. Williams, come. You come. Barista, come. Come, Barista. Now, stand. All of you face me. Barista, stand behind them. Stand behind them. The Bible said, Jesus, don't move. Jesus had disciples. Can you see me? You can see me? Jesus had disciples. They were disciples after Jesus. Then behind Jesus, was the, the disciples was the woman. She was behind. Alright? And the Bible says, and from there, try from there and touch me. When he touched me, when I turn, all of you turn. Touch me. She, she touched Jesus. And Jesus turned. Remain standing, face us. What happened now? Who is now behind? Jesus. Who was behind before? Who is now behind? The third reason they touch you is to take you to their position and take your position. Go back to your seat. They were at the back and they want you to join them. <laughs> 